In this video, we are going to talk about 10 tools to become a minimalism. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. The practice of minimalism entails drawing attention to the aspects of life that are most important to us, while simultaneously eliminating anything that may divert our attention away from those concerns. It is about concentrating one's attention, acting with intention, and making the most of the one life that has been given to each of us. It is also a movement that is gaining momentum all around the world. However, there are still a lot of people that get this term wrong. They believe that it has something to do with bare walls, freezing settings, or empty cabinets. However, they are completely wrong. The concept of minimalism refers not to owning fewer things than necessary, but rather to possessing only those things that are essential to one's life. When practiced well, minimalism leads to increased wealth, free time, heightened concentration and less stress. In addition to this, it leads to a life that is filled with more joy, more meaning, and more significance. Here are 10 things you can do today to test out the lifestyle of simplicity and live more like a minimalist if you are attracted to the benefits of minimalism but are still worried about making the transition. Number 10. Do one thing you love. The best thing about minimalism is that it makes more of your money, time, and energy available for the things that really matter to you. This is the most important benefit. Living a life with the goal of doing things that brings real happiness, meaning, satisfaction, and fulfillment. So on this day, make sure you do something you enjoy. And then, Picture yourself engaging in that activity to a greater extent each and every day from this point on. You'll also have a better idea of why so many people are interested in the message that minimalism sends. Living a dull existence that is cut off from reality is not what minimalism entails. It's about rejecting the reality that society tells you is true and living a focused, purposeful life on your own terms. Start now by taking even just one or two of these baby steps, and you'll get a taste of what the rest of your life may be like. You are going to adore minimalism, and you are going to adore having fewer possessions. Number 9. Turn off your television one hour earlier than normal. Because minimalists take a more deliberate approach to living their lives, they rid themselves of harmful behaviors and routines. Getting rid of the television was one of the most crucial aspects in our opinion. Television is no longer the central focus of your life, but there are times when you do watch it with your family. Tonight, you should turn the television off one hour earlier than it normally would be. Take advantage of the extra time by having a conversation with your partner, writing in a journal, going for that walk, or going to bed an hour earlier than usual. Almost any option you pick will be a better use of your time. Number 8. Wear your favorite outfit. It's true that most minimalists have a far smaller wardrobe than the average person does but not because owning fewer pieces of clothing is a form of self-denial. In point of fact, the reverse is true. When you have fewer items of clothing, anything that is hanging in your closet is likely to be among your favorites. There is nothing that would make us happier than donning our preferred dress on a daily basis. Put on the outfit you love the most today. Take note of the aspects that appeal to you. And now picture yourself living in a world where you get to wear that on a daily basis. Number 7. Make up one game with your kids. 
Numerous pieces of research point to the fact that having fewer toys overall is better for our children. It is possible that advertisements will persuade us that purchasing the most recent toy will result in an improved childhood for our children. But this is not the case. Your family will have more opportunities to engage in more meaningful play and develop their imagination if you have fewer toys to play with. Therefore, gather your children's toys and devise a brand new game to play with them tonight, such as an obstacle course. You'll have a great time and understand how important it is to have less at the same time. Number six, eliminate one obligation. The concept of minimalism extends well beyond one's material things. It encourages intentionality in all facets of life, including relationships, routines, and your agenda. Today, remove one duty from your life that you do not enjoy or that does not bring you closer to achieving the goals and ambitions that are most important to you. You are responsible for making whatever it is that has to be done, such as making the phone call, sending the email, or canceling the appointment. Get back control of your time so you can live the life you want to live. Number five, turn off the notifications on your phone. The goal of minimalists is to live their lives with as few interruptions as possible whether those interruptions come in the form of unneeded goods, unnecessary appointments, or unnecessary alerts, such as email or social media, or even texts. You should turn off all notifications on your phone for the remainder of the day, with the exception of incoming calls, even text messaging. Observe how the shift in mood affects the entirety of your day. In the morning of tomorrow, Turn on only the notifications that you genuinely failed to check. Number four, go for a long walk. Both the mind and the body benefit from going for a walk. It affords the chance to muse on and consider various aspects of life. If you wish to live a life that is more minimalistic in nature, go for a good long walk today. Take note of the pleasant sensation it gives you to have some extra time in your day to give yourself the opportunity to breathe and relax. And as you stroll, take some time to reflect on the course your life is on and ask yourself if you're making the most of every opportunity. Would it be possible for you to concentrate better on the things that matter if you eliminated some of the distractions? Number three, don't buy anything and put $49 into savings. The average amount that an American spends on non-essential products during the course of a year is quite close to $18,000. If you want to take one small step today toward living more like a minimalist, don't buy anything that isn't absolutely necessary and you'll be well on your way to reaching your goal of living a more minimalist lifestyle. The following step is to open a savings account and deposit the $49 into it. The steps from today should be repeated starting tomorrow. When you stop buying goods that you don't need, you'll be surprised at how quickly the money in your savings account will accumulate once you make the decision to stop making those purchases. Number two, clear one surface. The visual congestion that we are subjected to is exacerbated by each and every discernible object that is in our field of vision. Our eyes are drawn to things that are close by as we continuously and unconsciously inspect our surroundings. This causes us to focus on things that are in our local proximity. First, locate a surface in your home that you are able to totally clear, such as a shelf, a nightstand, a coffee table, or a bathroom counter, and then remove everything that is currently on that surface. Make a mental note of the surface's transparency. 
Imagine that feeling spreading throughout the entire home so that it is there in every room. Number one, remove one box of clutter from your home. Minimalists tend to have fewer possessions than other people. Because of this, their homes exude an atmosphere that is more tranquil, more serene, more spacious, and less stressful. You might not be able to declutter your entire home in a single day. It took us nine months. But even a little bit of progress is better than none at all. Make it a goal to clear one room in your house of one complete box's worth of clutter. Afterwards, take note of how much of a difference it makes. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.